Welcome back to another Monday going to Costco. Just kidding, that's not how we're doing today. But it is a rainy, yucky day. We are not quite to summer yet. We have to get to July before we are done with the rain here in Seattle. So we get teased quite a bit with the good weather. And then we get this. See, pretty gross, pretty nasty weather. But I have quite a few errands to run, including returning a pair of shorts that Abby bought herself. I have the tag still on it, like the little security tag. I don't know how we got out of the store. Actually, I do know how we got out of the store. They were remodeling or fixing the exit door that would have had all the scanners that would have beeped if we had left through that door. You have and the receipt though, right? Yeah, I have the receipt, but also they are too big for her. She apparently wants them smaller. So I have to return those. Luckily I have the receipt showing that we actually did pay for them despite the security tag. And then we just have a bunch of errands to do. We're quite the adventuresome couple, right? Yeah, today's uh, more of a get it done day. Get it done day, we have to run a few errands. Yeah, we have to kind of stay home in the mornings to make sure Ashley gets on her calls. She's doing better, you know, because we have like five days of school left. <laughs> Not not five. We have five this week, five next week, and then the dud of a week. So we're almost there. And I am currently planning a really fun activity for the very last day of school at the park. And I'm just starting to like talk to a lot of the other moms and we're gonna plan a really fun um, little party for them. But I'm not gonna say too much because some of the friends watch this channel now, so. Anyway, um, then we also need to wait for good weather to take Ashley's photos for her baptism. In our church, when she turns eight, she gets baptized, and I'm gonna take photos of her. We got her dress for her birthday, but I've just wanted to wait and take the photos because I want to make a flower crown, like a, I don't remember what, the, a hula crown is what they call it in Hawaii basically a lei crown but I learned how to make them um, but I was kind of hoping to like make it and then have it still be good by the time she actually gets baptized which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to time it right I might have to make two but my parents are coming for her baptism that is in about two weeks um, my parents are coming and they're bringing two of my nieces that are like Chelsea's age and a little bit older um, but they are due for a trip with my mom and dad. They bring grandkids up here to visit every summer, but we haven't been able to do it for the past two summers because of health issues and COVID. So that will be kind of fun. And I don't, we'll kind of film along the way, but one of them won't be able to get filmed. I don't have permission from my brother and his wife, which is totally fine. Um, but we will film as much of our time because we will do touristy Seattle-y things um, oh, as much as we it. can. There's a street sweeper ahead of us. Dude, oh. Really? Okay, uh, hang on. We'll get going and then we'll be back. So now we get to sit behind the street sweeper down our whole hill. Because the RAV4 didn't have any guts. <laughs> See the street, he'll move over. It's all good. He's grumpy. <laughs> you are grumpy this morning. Yep. Maybe if you, maybe if you had caffeine, you'd be less grumpy. Have you already had a Coke today? No, I haven't. Okay, all right. <laughs> Goodness sakes. No, I. Not even eleven. I, I had eggs and sausage for breakfast. Then what's your problem? I don't have a problem. You're grumpy. You just attacked a street sweeper. No, I yelled. I didn't even yell. Okay, whatever. I talked abruptly to the car in front of me for being a wuss. You don't understand how much you talk abruptly. <laughs> why my glasses are even like sunglasses right now it's like totally overcast a little more bright than more I bright maybe anyway I but I just went and picked up this book from my friend she brought it to work to today she's my kids um principal so we went and picked it up from her today because we're having book club at her house um in two days so I've got a lot of reading to do this is the invisible life of Addie LaRue 
So I'm hoping, she said it was a really good book. So I'm looking forward to just sitting down and reading that. And I'm actually kind of glad that there's rain on the forecast today and tomorrow. So I don't feel as guilty being inside with the book. But if it's sunny, maybe I'll go and sit outside. But we haven't even hit Costco yet. We've been chatting with friends along the way as we, oh gosh, the roads over here at the school are so bumpy. Um, speed bumps. Speed bump, yes. Oh, there's, okay. We just keep talking to people every time we stop. So it's taking us a little bit longer, but we're gonna go ahead to Costco, right? Is that where we're at? I think that's the next day. Okay. The very last one. What? For 40 bucks? I know. Very last one. That's a good deal. Happy Father's Day. Oh, all right. Right? Okay, can we still go to Indian food? <laughs> no, it's one or the other. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's wow, fun. that's a good deal. Yeah. So, back to wearing masks at Costco. I actually can take it off for a second. We're not required to wear them because we've been vaccinated, but. Everyone else is wearing them, so. Well, no, but according to Costco, they're like, we, they would like us to wear them, even if we have been vaccinated, just to have unity within the store and not have as much of a problem within the store, at least through the end of next month. So I'm just choosing to honor Costco's policy. I've been vaccinated, I'm totally safe, but it is their choice as a business, and I support businesses doing that because we have our own and we have to make that choice too as a business owner. So out of respect, I wear the mask. It's fine with me. Totally fine with me. It's fine. We're not done with this yet, so it's just more in solidarity to everyone else. Mask back on, but Jason is in like heaven right now because not only did he get his chair, but they're back to like full stock of the s'mores. Like he is in heaven, right? Awesome Father's Day. Awesome Father's Day. But he also wants Indian food and it's not my favorite. So that might have to be a compromise. I might send him for Indian food instead of going with him. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. I'll go with my brother. Or I'll take takeout to Indian. <laughs> they won't like that, but. We're not gonna do that. Okay. So what are we doing now? <clears throat> Being lazy. No, but I'm actually gonna sit and read this book. Oh, my God, I can't see it. I already showed it in the car. Oh, Invisible Life of Addie, Le Addie LaRue. And I have until Wednesday to get it through as much of it as I can, borrowing it from my friend. Um, but I'm having a hard time reading because I just found a new series on uh, YouTube, Chateau Diaries, and it's my favorite right now. And it's also, she also had a show on TV. Anyway, it's a thing. Go and look up Chateau Diaries. You will, like, if you guys, you guys are out here because you, like, a, like, we're like one and the same. That's why you're attracted to my channel. So I can guarantee you that you're going to like Chateau Diaries. So they're on YouTube. Go check her out and I, you are going to be hooked. And find the playlist that starts it from the beginning and watch it. I'm on episode 50 of 226. Now if we right? can only get Chateau channel to pitch our channel. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's filming we had a Chateau in, in yes, France in yes. the southern you know I'll anyway whatever so I'm having a hard time not wanting to like pick that up and watch it um, but I am gonna sit and read my book it's cold and rainy so I'm gonna sit here in my corner and read my book And look what I made ya. Aw, oh, look at that doting husband. You put some granola on it? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Can you just I don't put granola on mine, so I didn't think of it. I know. It's okay. Can I get some granola? And I'll put it on it? It's very nice of you to make it. Can I just have some granola? Yes. I'll get you granola. Thank you. So it's a cold day, right, Ashley? Yeah. They came in because they were cold and their friend had to go out, huh? Yeah. So now you're doing homework by the fire, right? It looks a lot darker than it actually is. <laughs> it's actually only like six o'clock, right, Jels? Yeah, 6.30. 6 6.15. And what are you making over here in the dark? 
Oh, I just made it worse. What are you making? Um, mac and cheese. You're making mac and cheese for dinner for you and Ashley. That's very nice of you. And I have some leftovers. Where are they? Here. For dinner. I have our taco meat from last night. And so I'm not really hungry now. So I'm not pulling everything out. But everyone can kind of make their own taco. So we're just kind of off schedule from when we're hungry for eating right now. They're hungry now. It's normal time to eat, but I'm not sure why I'm not really hungry to eat right now. And Kaylee said she's not hungry and she has to get on her driving class soon. Oh, also we made those, the Taco Supreme Crunch Wraps. Crunch Wraps Supremes from Taco Bell. We made those last night and then Chelsea had like a, you had a quesadilla, right? And then Abby did a little roll up without meat because she doesn't like the meat. But we accidentally have only little ones. These are like the little tortilla shells. So we kind of had to make little teeny tiny crunch wraps or fold them, fold this in half and make them that way. And then we had to like break apart the, the hard shell that makes the crack, you know, whatever crunch. So anyway, I'm gonna let people just kind of come and filter in it when they're hungry. Um, like I said, I'm just not that hungry or maybe I just, I don't want the effort. But Jason and I are talking right now about Why? potential um, anniversary vacation. And I'm tempted to book it soon because the car rental situation is a real thing. And I'm just getting worried about not getting a car. Dead battery. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, we're trying to, we are going to go back to Maui. There's no surprise. That's where I go for our anniversary. We're going to go this fall. But there's a rental car situation going on. Everything is opening back up like full speed. Things are booking up. And what was the other factor? Now I can't remember. Flights are decent. I've never paid this much for a flight before. So I'm kind of hoping that they can come back down in price. But I also need to like time all three together and make sure that I get a car. Because people are literally showing up in Hawaii right now and not having a car. Like that's how bad the rental price crisis is. We can talk about that on another day. But, so I'm kind of tempted to hurry and book that. And I actually might book it through Costco this time. I've never actually booked it through them, but they are guaranteeing their car rental, which is again, a situation of other car companies not honoring their car rentals. But I'm also finding like deals, but I'm also finding deals with Hawaiian Airlines and you book your airline and your um, hotel through them and get a discount as well. So anyways, I kind of booking it a different way than I've ever done it before, but I'm close to doing that and I'm very excited because that's only in like three, four months. Um, what else? Oh, and I've read my book, been reading my book. I need to sit back down and read some more because I've got 400 pages to get through until Wednesday and it is Monday. So I have how many... I'm on page 63 of 400. So I've got, I'm going to try and read at least 120 pages a day. I think I can. If I sit back down right now and read for a little while, I think I can get through this. This book is kind of cool because it's like a time travel. I didn't know it was going to be about that. But I've always... Well, I don't like sci-fi, but I, for love story time travel, I do like. So... Um, it's really good so far. 60 pages in. Um, so, yes? I don't know, but it seems like plastic to me. Then it might be done. Let's just double check her dinner here. She knows how to make mac and cheese. You tasted it? Yeah, I tasted it twice. Uh, oh, it's done. I don't like Give me a... Plastic. Here, give me. Because it's, it's not... right there. Okay, great. Put it in the sink. Hurry, help me. Hurry, help me. Okay. I can throw it a little. Nope, I got it. Okay. So she's going to make her mac and cheese. We finally kept up on our dishes and our chores. And yeah, like it, we go through so many dishes and so many loads of garbage and so many. It's ridiculous. And I haven't done laundry now for what, two days? And I'm thinking, oh, I don't have much laundry. I guarantee you, when I go to do laundry tomorrow, I'll have at least three loads. It, like, never ends. Neither does the trash. 
Um, let's see, what else? Don't really have much else going. Abby might start four days of school a week. <laughs> oh, and we only have like eight days left. Eight real days is what I'm, I don't count the last week. It's kind of stupid if you ask me, but whatever. They're appeasing the crowds that are ho and humming and about needing to be in school full time. Yes, that's my opinion. It's not necessary for the last eight days of school. It's ridiculous, actually. Okay, you still have a little bit of homework? Yes, two. Who just ordered you new shoes, huh? You guys can see her new shoes when they come in the mail. I am not up for, you know, going from store to store to store to store and not finding her shoes. So, Amazon to the win. Yes? Crushing Main Street. Yep. There's nothing to buy on Main Street. Stop being that way. What's that? If you would order your daughter shoes, well, she'd have tell some. Me what she wants, what she needs, to so get it. They didn't like the last ones we got from you. Sorry, they were too. I don't know. They were Merrill's. They were good. She wore them. She wore them out. You wore yeah. your. Do you wore yours out? Yeah, I wore them a lot, but Chelsea didn't like. Can't even see your face, Squirt. Chelsea didn't like. Um, she didn't like them. The same ones, so she never wore them. Oh, so you'll get to wear those ones in about a year. That usually happens. She doesn't like to sh to match. You match anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna go and read. I'm gonna take this face off because my makeup is. I don't know. My my face hurts from the dry skin, and like I part of the reason why I didn't pick up the camera over the weekend because my face literally hurts. Like it's fine now that my makeup is on. But I will take the makeup off and it will be dry and cracky and it will hurt. Like, it will legit hurt. Well, it's, I don't know if I'm going to show my face again, but our night isn't quite over yet. I feel like we have some more to share, so we'll see. If not, then we'll see you guys later. It'll probably just be dinner. It'll probably just be dinner and me reading a book. So, and Jason's working out. Water break. Water break. So last night, I read 165, 64 pages of this book, and this morning I am already up to page 207. So I'm doing pretty good today, but I've got to keep reading, so that's why I didn't really do much else with the video last night. Take care, you guys, and we'll talk to you later.